Hello, this is Yaakov Fein, and uh, today is lesson number five. We, the first four lessons we covered uh, materials from chapter one from the book TypeScript quickly. Now we are uh, starting reading fragments er and trying things from chapter two. So first of all, in this chapter, there's a whole bunch of uh, definitions like what are the basic types I will not be going through those you can read about them C string boolean number and so on but I will comment on some of these some of these first of all first of all we already mentioned that you can either define the types uh, with a with explicit type or you can uh, just assign a value and uh, as you see TypeScript can infer the type so the first uh, declaration of the variable n name one is preferable. Once again, if you if you are not sure if you need to change the value of name one, maybe it makes sense to do const uh, const instead of uh, let, right? So const is preferable. Now let's go back and uh, see some other examples. Uh, f let's take a look at this fragment. I'm going to be copying it right in the TypeScript, and then I'll comment it out. I'll comment it for you. So, inferred types. See, constant age, 25. I hover the mouse over. It says that this constant has the value of 25 that cannot be changed. Now, then we have a function. This is a function, right? Like, uh, what do we have? How do you use types in function signature? The same way this function, as I can see, has a parameter, one parameter of type income, and this is number, of type number, and this function can also return a number. So by defining these types, you help somebody who will be reading your program later to understand what you're get, what you getting back uh, uh, after calling the function get text. You can say, well, it's a big deal. I can see that the function returns a number, right? Line number four. Yes, of course, in this simple function, true. But what if the function has 25 lines of code or 20 lines of code? Do you want someone to read through the mm, code, so the body of your function, just to, to learn that it returns a number? I don't think so. Now, line number seven, we invoke this function and uh, we declare the variable your text, your text. And we didn't specify what is the type of this variable, but TypeScript easily inferred the type to be a number. Why? Because the get tag function returns a number. So, in my opinion, this is really beneficial. But and besides that, it doesn't take it doesn't take much for you to implement it. Comparing to JavaScript, of course. Now let's talk a little bit about this type widening. Well, let, let me copy copy this little piece from chapter 2 from chapter 2 to playground again uh, what do we have line number one I declared a variable product ID technically if this would be JavaScript I would say that the type of this variable is undefined I declared a variable I didn't assign any value to it right line number five assign line number five assigned null, but it's different. Null is a value, right? A null value. But line number one, technically the type should be undefined. But what TypeScript would do for you, it uses so-called type widening. It widens the type. So on the top of all the types, when the TypeScript doesn't know what it is, it uses the type any. That's why in this example, in this particular example, it is using type any. So it widens the type to any. Uh, line number five, as I said, it assigns uh, the value of null to this variable, but again, it's widened to type any, or if you will assign undefined, it also will be mm, widened to type any in TypeScript. On the other hand, if you will take a look at this example, it's different situation. See, if over here, uh, product ID did not have, was not initialized, right? That's why TypeScript had to guess. In this case, different story. Uh, you 
assign one, two, three to product ID, right? So there is no guessing anymore. No guessing anymore. See? Uh, TypeScript knows. TypeScript infers the type of the variable product ID as a number. And the uh, second and third line uh, give you a compiler's error. You said it gives me a number, so why are you assigning null to it? Or why are you assigning undefined to it? This is wrong. These little things add up. And uh, in the end, in the end of the day, you will become more productive be just because of this. So this is uh, declaring of numeric variable. This is for Boolean, true-false kind of things. This is a string. Now let's take a look at the function declaration. First of all, a function to calculate text in JavaScript. This function has no types. It doesn't declare any types. This is how people would write it in JavaScript. Try to guess what are the types. Okay, let me let me say no. Let me uncheck in no implicit any, so it won't bother us. Now, what else it doesn't like? Calculator not all code paths return a value. See, uh, this is a nice little thing. Uh, TypeScript helps you even here. Look at this. Read read this. Not all code paths return a value. We'll talk about it in a minute but what are the types of parameters you didn't specify I didn't it didn't specify either right but uh, TypeScript again widened the type assigned any to the parameter state income and dependence right now return type it guessed it tried to guess what this function would return take a look at this it says see um, it uh, returns it returns number or vertical bar or undefined we'll talk about it in a second but first of all let's take a look at this not all code paths return the value look at this if statement if state so this function is, is supposed to calculate text right if state is equal New York line number two then we apply one formula to calculate text Else, if state is equal New Jersey, we apply a different formula to calculate x. But what if a state is not New York and not New Jersey? We didn't provide any default uh, text calculation, so to speak. And that's why TypeScript helps you over here, saying not all code paths return a value. I, I didn't provide a return value for the case when the user will invoke this function with invalid parameter so on one hand it is uh, TypeScript guessed it by saying that the function can return either a number or undefined if you will invoke this function with uh, say state equal Florida FL then this function will return undefined that's this is the meaning of the return type of number vertical bar undefined see I didn't even do anything, I didn't even apply any specific syntax of TypeScript, but it's already helped even with your existing JavaScript program. And as a matter of fact, uh, I guess in chapter 7 in the book, there is a section where we explain you how TypeScript can benefit your existing project. You might have bugs in your program, and this is clearly a bug, right? I didn't provide any uh, processing for New York, New Jersey. So TypeScript can help you just by trying to compile your existing JavaScript code. And you may be surprised in what you will find in there. All right, so let's try to fix this thing. Again, coming back to the chapter, I think I provided already a better version. Now, the TypeScript version of this function is here. Now we have types. We have types. It's not perfect yet, but at least uh, it fixes uh, something. It fixes types. So now, in this case, in this case, I am saying that I am saying that the function uh, has the string uh, property. St uh, sorry, first argument of type string, second argument of type number, and the third argument of type dependence of type number. Sorry. And the return type of the function is number. See, again, 
TypeScript tells me the function lacks ending return statement and return type doesn't uh, include uh, undefined. Same thing. It tells me what are you going to do if somebody will invoke this function with uh, Florida, for example. Right? It's bad. It tells you it's bad. It compiles the code on the right-hand side from JavaScript perspective. It's fine, but it's bad. So of course, so what I can do, I can manually type vertical bar meaning or undefined. And uh, I'm trying to say, yes, this function can return number or undefined. TypeScript is still not happy. TypeScript is still not happy. Uh, it, it keeps bothering you, do something, do something. So, no, well, well, return, return minus 999. Or you can throw an error from here, right? Anyway. This error is gone because or in all cases I am returning something or you could have removed this part but add throw an exception. So these are the functions. If a function doesn't return a value, if a function doesn't return a value, then you, would, you can s explicitly say so by mm, using the special keyword void. For example, let me write a function um, uh, log I don't know let's say log function log it'll take a message right of type string string not stink but string string uh, and um, I'm just I'm just gonna invoke console.log and whatever message they gave me right now I can I can write it just like this. A console dot log and the MSG. So technically this code is valid. Uh, this code is valid, uh, but I did not I was not explicit. I didn't specify that this function returns nothing. Returns nothing. It was inferred, but it was it would be nicer once again if the function is longer than just, than just a couple of lines of code. If I would have specified void, void means I'm telling you the function takes a string and returns nothing. Don't expect anything from this function. So basically, you are documenting the program, so your code becomes more readable for whoever will uh, will be reading it. The next topic is the union types in TypeScript, but let's talk about it in the, in the next lesson.